So to recap those four pieces of the financial package, it was one, the current cash flow statement, two, the current budget, three, a projected budget that included the management changes, and a progress report to keep the lender looped in so that those suggested improvements were indeed being made in a timely manner. And that provided reassurance for the lender. One of the deals we made with the lender is we will show you progress. We will show that we can turn this dairy around. So that put him at ease and it, and then ultimately put the, the owner at ease too. We assured him that we were going to work with him. And if, if there was no progress being made, we were going to have to have a sit down and have a hardcore meeting. The last thing I want to do is come in there and promise something and not get any results. So right away, we, we laid it on the line and said, all right, we either do this or your dairy is going to be gone and not the way you want it to be gone. I think with what we do, putting a complete package together, being able to go out on the management side, looking at what's going on day to day and being able to go back and put these numbers on paper, just because we know what's going on day to day helps us greatly. Being able to, like I said, have those goals on paper and Many times, you know, when we do put numbers on paper, the lenders will question us. Okay, how are you going to get to this number on feed expense? Or how are we going to get this much income on milk production? What are you going to do? So that's when we're, we're able to explain what we're going to do on a management side. This combination of a plan for management and financial changes on paper and with accountability and an action plan helps both the producer and the lender be confident to move forward. Polly offers this advice to dairy owners and managers listening today who want to be proactive in their financial future and with their lender relationship so they don't have to be in a position where the bank is forcing them to sell out. I think it's really important for everybody to understand their finances and understand where they're sitting, you know, amongst their peers and if you find your, yourself struggling this year, you know, seek some help. There's people out there that can help get you budgets, cash flows, understand where you are financially. Don't continuously keep going back to your lender asking for money every time times get tough. Find out what you can do management wise and see what you can do different so you don't have to always be asking for money. Yes, you might be paying down some debt all year long and then you have two months of bad times and then you got to go to the bank and get some money. Yeah, you can do that that sort of thing, but see if you can plan ahead. Maybe you can financially do really well. Many of the many of the farms we worked with last year actually had enough money to prepay on their feed. So if you're able to prepay in many of those dairies now that we worked with that that did do the prepay during the downturn in milk here that we had this past summer, they were able to ride that out. So in summary, Polly looked at two pieces of the picture, the financial piece and the management piece. On the management side, there were three areas where he made changes the fastest. One was in the milking parlor to maximize labor and increase the amount of cows going through the parlor and the amount of milk income, as well as being able to reduce some of the expenses of the labor. Number two was the feeding area, being able to cut back on some ingredients by working with the nutritionist and also feeding more forages in the ration. And number three was the breeding program and replacement heifer program. By breeding everything to beef in this situation, they actually eliminated raising their own replacement heifers and were able to buy them back from a heifer raiser at freshening. And in the meantime, they were able to sell those black calves and use that income for buying back their own replacements. And again, it's that financial package that brings it all together with four key pieces. One is the current cash flow statement. Two is the current budget. Three is a budget with projected changes from the suggested management plan. And number four, the progress report to take to the lender to show that the actions that are suggested to be able to achieve those income expense reduction goals are indeed being met. Understanding your finances, that's something we can do. But the big key for us is we do it along with the management side of things. Yeah, that's where we, we can actually show how we're going to basically save your dairy.